Writing equations. Potassium chloride plus silver nitrate yields potassium nitrate plus silver chloride. We first will list the ions and their charges. Looking on our ion sheet, we will find that we have potassium at plus one, chlorine at minus one, silver at plus one, and nitrate at minus one. The same holds true for the product side. Potassium is plus one, nitrate is minus one, silver is plus one, and chlorine is minus one. We can now write out the, the formula equation. KCl goes together in a one-to-one -one ratio, plus one to minus one, and silver nitrate does the same, plus one silver with minus one nitrate, a one-to-one -one ratio, AgNO3. This will yield a product of KNO3, potassium is plus one and nitrate is minus one, a one-to-one -one ratio, and silver and chlorine go together in a one-to-one -one ratio to make silver chloride, AgCl. Next, we will balance the equation. We count the atoms on the left or reactant side of the equation, and we find that we have one potassium, one chlorine, one silver, and one nitrate. On the product side, counting the atoms, we find one potassium, one nitrate, one silver, and one chlorine we see that this equation is already balanced. Next, we determine the type of reaction we'll, we're dealing with. Potassium and silver both change partners, making potassium nitrate and silver chloride. Therefore, this is a double replacement reaction. Potassium chlorate yields potassium chloride plus oxygen gas. We will again list the ions and their charges. Potassium and chlorate are both plus one and minus one respectively. Potassium is plus one and chlorine is minus one. And we are reminded that oxygen is one of the diatomic elements and therefore in its gas state is O2. We write out the formula equation. KClO3, potassium and chlorate go together in a one to one ratio, plus one to minus one. Potassium chloride is KCl, one-to-one -one ratio, plus one to minus one, and oxygen gas in its state is O2 because it was one of the diatomic elements. Next, we will balance the equation. KClO3 yields KCl plus O2. We notice that 1K and 1Cl balances from left to right, but the oxygen is three on the left while it is two on the right. To solve this, we need to balance at six oxygen atoms. Therefore, we need three O2s and two KClO3s. This gives us six oxygen on both sides of the equation. By adding the two in front of the potassium chlorate, we now must add a two in front of the potassium chloride. Now the equation is balanced. To determine the type of reaction, we know that potassium chloride is breaking down into potassium chloride plus oxygen gas, making this a decomposition reaction.